Hello friends and welcome to Edupedia World Videos. Now we are at chapter 5 of our course Basics of Programming in C Language. And in this chapter we shall understand the basic memory layout of a C program. So after this chapter we will be ready to start actual coding in C. Now this is the basic memory layout of a C program. Okay, this is known as the process control block. So most of the operating systems run the programs as processes. Okay, and each process is allocated some memory inside the memory of the system, inside the RAM, and that memory is segmented like this as you are seeing in front of you for a C program. Okay, so these are the higher range of addresses and these are the lower range of addresses that means that this is the place where memory of a program is starting and this is the place where the memory of the program is ending so each of these segment has a specific purpose the lowest one is the code segment okay as its name suggests it stores the code of the uh, it stores your source code okay then there is initialized data segment we will learn what is it, what it stores, but for a summary, just remember that it stores the initialized global and static variables. Then there is the initial uninitialized data segment. This stores the uninitialized global and static variables. Then we have heap and stack. Okay, so this is all where other variables are stored, and this is divided into two parts. One is heap and one is stack. So heap grows from lower addresses towards the higher addresses and as you keep on adding more and more variables to into heap it will keep on growing okay this portion is empty and your stack grows towards the bottom direction so as you add more and more variables to the stack it will keep on growing towards from the higher end to the lower end and once these two meet that means that your program is now exhausted by memory so OS allocates only a particular amount of memory to a program and if that memory is exhausted then your program has to die you have to keep in mind that you never overrun the memory of your program okay now this is the external data segment that will control the command line arguments that the data passed to a process this will learn data and the environment variables that come from the OS environment okay so the description of the segments is here now and we shall start from the topmost segment that is the external data segment as we have just discussed it contains the data that is passed through command line arguments through argc and argb so we will learn what the command line arguments are okay in a matter of some chapters and it also contains this segment also contains any environment variables that have been set in the operating system environment where the program is running Okay, so what are environment variables? Environment variables is a you can see they are just a tool that is provided by almost every operating system to have certain configurations. Okay, suppose your operating system wants to tell your processes the path of a particular file, or your operating system wants to tell the processes that what kind what version of the OS is running. So that is specified by a particular environment variable okay. now the stack segment okay as we have seen the stack segment on our process control block it lies over here and it grows from higher addresses to the lower addresses now let us understand what a stack segment is the stack segment contains the statically allocated variables in the program okay so in our C language we can allocate variables in two ways one is statically and other one is dynamically till now we have learned the declaration of variables only in static format okay only the static declarations we have learned and we will learn only the static declaration in the basic course of C programming because that is where we start with okay when we will be capable enough to learn dynamic allocation then we will do that also so for the time being just remember the static variables are allocated in a space in the stack segment the stack segment grows towards the downward direction that is from higher address space to the lower address space okay 
After the stack segment comes the heap segment. Now this is the area where the variables which are dynamically allocated are given some memory space. Okay. So the difference between static and dynamic allocation is that in static allocation the memory space is allocated to a variable right at the point of declaration. As soon as it is declared it is given a memory space by the compiler itself. So user does not direct the compiler to allocate memory space but compiler itself allocates the memory space for the static variables. But for dynamically allocated variables at the time of declaration no memory space is allocated. No, no memory space is reserved. But later when the user instructs the compiler to allocate some memory space at that time it is allocated and this can be done using the commands like malloc. And the heap grows in the opposite direction to that of a stack. Okay. Uninitialized data segment. So whenever you declare some global variables you can have initialized global variables or uninitialized global variables. You should remember that a global variable even if the user does not initialize it is by default initialized by the compiler to the default zero value. Okay, So if you have not initialized it yourself that variable will be allocated some space in the uninitialized data segment and compiler will on uh, running your code it will initialize it to zero okay. and after that we come to the initialized data segment. This segment contains the global and static variables which are explicitly initialized by the program by the programmer to their initial values. For example int var1 is equal to 10. So here we have initialized it on the declaration itself and this should be declared in the global scope only then the compiler will allocate a space for this variable inside the initialized data segment. Uninitialized data segment we can see in the example that int a. Okay, We have not initialized a with any value but we have declared it. So compiler will allocate a space for this in the uninitialized data segment. Okay, So thank you for watching the video and uh, I hope you continue with the course basics of programming in C language. Have a nice day.